Hello viewers, in this video we would like to discuss on our not so good experience with our laptop. It was from Dell. So close to a year back we got our laptop after a lot of searching. The main purpose is to create demonstrative basic level FEA and CFD simulations using open source software. We wanted a best trade off between computational capacity and cost. A CAE works will require reasonable computational power, that too with our limited budget. All looked well till we have just passed the warranty period and the display hinge broke. It was surprising how come such a failure could occur while the laptop was very carefully used and one year was not a long time. Yes, one of the hinge was broken and it didn't allow to open the display from its folded position. Any attempt to open the laptop aggravated the separation of the beading around the display and hence it is creating more damage. It was a complete disappointment. Then out of our curiosity we were looking into the construction of the hinge and particularly the attachment of the display with the base. Something really stuck. Looking at the way the hinge was designed it had a very good chance that it will break. Just for comparison, let us look into the hinge construction of the laptop which we used previously. A representative line diagram of the hinge was shown for easy understanding. You could see the base can firmly sit on the surface and the hinge will carry only the weight of the screen. Of course, with this construction, the location of the thermal ventilator can have limited space and obviously cannot be placed underneath which can be considered as a comfortable location. Also a flat keypad can cause discomfort while typing. It is worth to note that thermal ventilation is important to keep the processor cool and hence a critical to quality feature during product development cycle. If it is not properly addressed during design phase, it could lead to costly processor reliability issues. Having said that, let us look into the hinge of the laptop which we bought. Clearly the hinge makes the key keypad panel to pivot against the surface and hence the keypad panel to rise. Now the keypad panel and any load due to placing the hand passes through the hinge. Further, the panel hits the surface while opening. This brings us to an important concept of load path. The modified load path can raise the hinge load significantly, reducing its reliability. Further, it can create weak links if the stresses are not adequately considered. But the next question is, can one failure be completely attributed to design problem from a reputed make? Well, there were number of cases with the same problem, we saw exactly same failure of same design in the service center. The experience certainly teaches an important lesson. Even a small overlook in design verification process could lead to an unexpected fa product failure. Repairing this damage costs about $35. This may be considered as a modest amount for the fix but it is certainly inflicting a trust damage and obviously it will tempt to consider other brands next time. Certainly, product development is an iterative and evolving process towards perfection, irrespective of the scale of the company, but it also provides opportunity to become better and triggers lot of inquisitive minds for the solution. If you wish to provide a design solution for this case, please leave your comment in the comment box. Of course, we will also think of a simple and effective solution with minor modifications.